Hey guys, what's up? My name is Tripwire. I'm bringing another Call of Duty Black Ops commentary, another episode to my custom class series, and uh, this time I'm going to be using the Olympia, uh, no attachments since there is none for it. Uh, we're going to be using the dual wielded pythons. Uh, the perks are, I think, marathon lightweight and sleight of hand. I think that would make sense. And um, so yeah, I'm just going to basically talk about the gameplay a little bit today. Um, I was having a bit of trouble with the Olympia at first. I find it's a pretty difficult shotgun to use. It, uh, I mean, with all shotguns, you got to be really close to the uh, the players in order to um, actually be able to get like hit markers on them. So that's kind of the problem. And luckily, I was playing on a close map like um, like firing range, so it's pretty easy to do that. And uh, you know, always stick near walls and go through the uh, the tighter areas instead of the big open areas. And that's the best way to be successful. And um, since, like, in these custom class videos, I'm not limited to just my primary weapon. There are uh, secondaries that I'm allowed to use and other things such as uh, equipment. And f unless you guys suggest an equipment in your comments, I will always be using C4s. So uh, I u always use those to my advantage, and uh, it's usually quite uh, successful for me. So um, another thing uh, I want to talk about today is I've been putting up videos of different games. Um, I'm trying to expand the library of games that I'm uh, using for videos for you guys. So I have two new videos that I uploaded lately. Uh, I'll leave annotations at the top of the video so you can click them at any time or in the description below if you're, uh, I guess, on a mobile or something like that. Um, one game I've been playing is Modern Warfare 2. Uh, I have a live uh, four-person commentary. Not really a commentary. It's just um, they were in the Skype call with me. They weren't even playing Modern Warfare with me. And while I was playing, we were kind of just talking. I think it's the absolute funniest video I've uploaded so far, and I think you guys will really enjoy it. If you haven't already watched it, uh, be sure to check it out. Uh, the other game I've been playing lately is called Alliance, uh, yeah, Alliance of Valiant Arms, or AVA. And uh, this game is absolutely free to play, so if you guys are interested in playing um, with me, uh, just go on your computer and download Steam, and create an account and whatever, and there's um, free games you can download, and one of the, there's five new free games you can download, and one of them is called Alliance of Valiant Arms, and that's the game that I'm playing. And... Uh, it's it's not a, it's obviously not as big of a game as like Call of Duty or, or Battlefield or anything like that, but it's still a, in my opinion a very good game. I've been playing it a lot these past few days, and uh, if you guys are interested in joining me, I mean it's free to download, so you know it could be fun. And it's always something new, especially if you're new to uh, PC games. It's kind of a way to get into it. It's kind of tough to uh, to start out when you're doing that, but. Uh, some people pick it up over time. I mean, uh, I'm pretty efficient on both. I'd always prefer to use a mouse and keyboard over the controllers just because my accuracy is so much better with those. But I find PC players are always a lot better than console players, so it's kind of an even balance. Um, so you guys want to try that. I mean, uh, download it and uh, add me on Steam. My Steam ID is Tripwire, so uh, you guys could always add me and uh, we'll hook up for some games if you guys want to do that. Uh, in this particular game that I uploaded, I'm playing what is called, um, I'm not sure what the game mode is called, I think it's something like Scenario or Prison Break or whatever, and it, if I was going to compare it to something, it's kind of like zombies, so, uh, the four of us that are in the, uh, live com, um, we're all, like, in this main central room, and we all have our, our guns, and you have one life, and, uh, there's a bunch of doors where, uh, prisoners, uh, try to escape and they try to kill you and they'll attack you with different things. And you just basically have to try to survive. And then there's, like, boss levels where there'll be, um, like, uh, they'll have shotguns or grenades or pistols to make it uh, harder instead of, like, a, like an axe or something else. So they have to actually get close to you to kill you. This way they can kill you from far. So, kind of a challenge and, uh, it takes a lot of coordination with the four people. And uh, it's a lot of fun, and I think you guys will enjoy that, so definitely check that video out as well. Um, I'll leave the links, like I said before, uh, above in an annotation, or um, I'll leave it in the description below. 
So, uh, yeah, if you, you guys can always download this, and it's free to try. I mean, there's other game modes, too. There's Team Deathmatch, Free For All. Uh, it's called Demolition, but it's not like the Call of Duty one. It's actually Search and Destroy, even though it's called uh, Demolition. There's Domination, but it, I do not understand it. It's not like uh, Call of Duty. So, uh, I gotta uh, figure out how that game works, too. And uh, it's, it's all online. It's a first-person shooter game, and... Um, a little bit complicated to get the idea first because it's not like the Call of Duty series uh, as far as like buying weapons goes and, and all that stuff. It's a little bit confusing and I'm still not too sure on everything. So I, I'm still learning about it. And um, another thing is um, I can't always record PC games so anytime I get a PC game or you guys want more out of it, it's it's kind of tough for me to do. So. Uh, please be patient if you're expecting more videos like that, and always leave me a, uh, a re like a request for those videos so I could put it high on my priority list in order to uh, to play it. So as you might have saw, I started out this game very very well. I think I started 14 and 0, and then after that everything went south, and uh, I started to do horrible, and I racked up a ton of deaths, and that's always been a problem with my games. Is I'll have these amazing starts, and then I'll just flat out get destroyed and like rack up a ton of deaths and that's really frustrating but in this particular case this is one of the better games that I did at the Olympia and I still wanted to share it because I was 14 and 0 to start and I got my Blackbird with a gun that I never used so uh, definitely a huge plus when it comes to uh, deciding whether or not to use a video and in this case I decided to take it so if you guys want more videos like this and um, you could always leave me a comment on what to use next. Uh, since this is a custom class video, please leave a, um, a, a suggestion of for what for me to use next. Because uh, one problem I've noticed is there's not a lot of people leaving uh, comment suggestions, and I can't keep up this series on my own. I need you guys to provide me with uh, class suggestions. Otherwise, this series isn't going to go anywhere. So I definitely need the support from you guys, and uh, yeah, so be sure to leave a comment below. Uh, once again, uh, my name is Tripwire, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a rating, leave a comment on what for me to use next, and subscribe for more videos like this. Uh, and that's pretty much it for today. Uh, I will put the comment on the end of the video. Uh, this week's comment was from KushKing666. Uh, so thank you for your comment, and I hope uh, I satisfied your uh, what you wanted me to uh, to do with the Olympia. And other than that, that's pretty much it. Take care, guys.